האורח הבא שלי הוא סטנדאפיסט מאוד מצחיק, הוא נולד באוסטרליה, יש לו תוכנית לילה בארצות הברית, חמישה ספיישלים מצליחים בנטפליקס, ומחר הוא מופיע בתל אביב, בהיכל מנור המבטחים. דונלד טראמפ, now don't get me wrong, he's a lot of fun. There's, and there's a little bit of me, there's a little bit of me, that when, uh, like, that thinks, fuck it, let's do it. Let's do it and see how fucking crazy shit can get. talking about Donald Trump, I just, I just did a field piece for my TV show just then yeah. where I spoke to a Muslim, a rabbi and a Christian and it turns out that you guys all love Trump. You think Trump's rocking it out? That's what they reckon. Well, <laughs> well, well this, it's you know, mixed crowd, mixed crowd uh, but you see, look that as, far, as far as Israel goes, mm. you know, we enjoy the fact that he's, uh, you know, uh, insane, insane, <laughs> and racist. Oh, 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 well. So we enjoy who it. Who doesn't enjoy racism? <laughs> <laughs> the, the fact that you're going, you're going, we, oh, 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 oh. Let's celebrate this. Let's celebrate this. But that was before he was elected. <laughs> so, so you guys like Trump? Hey, 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 hey. No. You're upsetting the tens of people who are watching this right now. Calm down. <laughs> All right, so you, you enjoy Donald Trump. You enjoy him. You don't have to live in the same country. I have to live in the same country as Donald Trump. How crazy did it get? It's gotten pretty crazy. He, he said that we should stop this last week. He said we should stop letting people in from shithouse countries. Shithole countries. countries. Shithole yeah. countries and let people in from Norway. But this is what he doesn't realise. Countries like Haiti and stuff like that, people want to leave those countries because they are shithole. And it's like, Norway's kind of nice. Yeah, we don't want to... you got tall blonde women. Why would you want to move to America? It's delightful over there. <laughs> You stop. You stop doing jokes like this. I mean, you stopped. I stopped doing jokes years ago. My career's been failing. I sold less I've sold less tickets this time than I did last time. Last time I sold a lot of tickets. I must have disappointed a lot of Israelis. No, this is, you saw all the crowd. I'm doing. I'm doing. I'm doing you doing, saw all I'm Israel. Doing, I'm doing a big show here. Uh, what happens is I can sell a lot of tickets. There's about 10 comics in the world that can sell this many tickets. There used to be more, but then Louis C.K. started mass in front of people. But you know, people, people are afraid to come here because of the BDS, and Audrey Waters calls everybody that comes here and says, what, don't what, go there. What happens is when, when I said I was going to perform in Israel, people said, oh, you must hate people from Palestine and, and whatnot. And so, so a lot of people condemned uh, me performing here. I, look, my, my personal problem is, my, not my problem, but how I look at it is this, is like, it's like, I feel like these people who I'm looking at right now don't really give a shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm, just, I'm just an entertainer, I'm just trying to entertain people, uh, I'm doing field pieces for the TV show and whatnot. Um, how are you going to fix the Middle East? You're the one who lives here, what are you doing wrong? I'm so depressed. <laughs> this question is so depressing. We as Israelis, we know not to ask those questions anymore. What, what do you do to bring peace for two countries that will never be at peace? Why will they never be at peace? Because we're assholes. Mm. <laughs> That's why the world will never be at peace. That's it! More guns! More guns! Now this, 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 is, this is the thing, world. If we all stop being assholes, then we'll all be fine. <laughs> I think so, the Bible has one sentence in it. Treat people as you'd like to be treated. You do that, then you're not fucking things up. Just treat people nicely. I've done, I've done every TV show. I've done Jimmy Kimmel and Stephen Colbert. And stuff, stuff. This is the first show. And I'm having a great time. Okay. We're having a great time. This is the first... Now, what happens on American TV is, before you do a TV show, they ring you up and they, they ask what you're going to say. Of course. They say, what story do you want to tell... Yeah. What do you think you're going to talk about whilst being on the show? Yeah. And then you tell them and they go, these stories are yeah, acceptable. This is what we do with Israelis, but you came I showed from up in a cab here. <laughs> no one gives a fuck what I'm saying on this show. <laughs> Nor did anyone check. 
No. I don't even know if you're the regular host. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Like, like, like what I'm on, what, this is, this is the most Mad Max version of television I have ever fucking been on. This is the road warrior of TV shows. Did you know I was coming? Yeah. You told me. Who's That's the today. next guest? I don't know that. You get like a street vendor, it's like Joe the hot dog guy. <laughs> Now tell me. Is that your band or are they some buskers you found outside? You're so right about that one. You've got it spot on. Do you think that uh, Oprah Winfrey is like the, the hope now? In, okay, in this the is US? what I feel about Oprah Winfrey. This is what I feel about Okay. Her. I like Oprah as much as any man can like Oprah or any woman. Not as much as Gail likes Oprah, but I like Oprah. Now, my thing is... We don't need another reality TV star to become president. I don't want Oprah, but I don't want Donald Trump either. How about the next thing we do in America is we get a person who's actually been working in politics. <laughs> we get someone who's worked hard to become a mayor, to become a senator, to become a governor, then eventually a president. Right? See, this is the whole thing. My father likes Trump. My father says to me, I like Trump because he's not a politician. Well, you want a politician, right? If there's any Trump supporters out there, next time your toilet's broken, don't get a plumber. You don't want them. They'll just come in with all their fancy plumber talk. <laughs> what, you want is, what you want, I guess, is someone who's done some really big shits and clogged up a lot of toilets. So, so no, I don't, I don't want Oprah. She's not qualified to do the job. I will take her over Trump. But, you know, my fear with Oprah is this, is she, she's all about love. And she's always saying we should all care for each other. And, all that. and I agree with that wholeheartedly, but I don't want that person in charge of the nuclear weapons. <laughs> No, I can understand you that. Know, no, I'm being very serious. You may need someone tougher she than that. You will give the bombs away. That. That's why I want Martha Stewart. <laughs> Martha Stewart could hit a nuclear weapon like no one's business. But also, it'll be nice because if we have Oprah, then we'll have... Uh, we'll, we'll knock out the, the female president. Yeah. We wanted that. Yeah, that's it. And then we'll get a female black president, so we that's knocked out it. two. Yeah, two checks. Right, two checks. We next one's gotta be a gay person, right? Then we can get a transgender black president. <laughs> Did you, who is the girl up there that has the laugh like a mouse? It's not a it's not a girl. It's a, it's some kind of mammal. We don't we didn't call it yet. Yes. Where did you get that special laugh? And when you have that laugh, do you get a special parking spot? <laughs> do, they, do, they, do they facilitate? Just the, just the fact that you're a ginger living in Israel. I hadn't met a red-headed Israeli yet. You're my first red-headed... Yeah, we have, we have them a lot. Oh, there's loads we'll of, them. of them. Oh, I've got to get out of this country pretty quick then. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know what we can do? Because I, I can try, you know, like to educate. I mean, you know, no, I don't, I'm, I'm using this. This is for the whole week. Okay, listen. Listen. I want to see because it's your... Second visit here. It's my second, it's my second visit to Israel. It's okay, it's okay. It may be my... Uh, 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 okay. I was only wiping off this armchair because I thought my hand would get wet, not because I was worried about your furniture. <laughs> okay. I was thinking... Is she, is she here every week? No, no, no. If, if she was, uh, the show would be good. And I want to... Uh, because it's... Uh, <laughs> you're, very, you're very funny. Uh, How old are you? I'm 41. I'm 40. Yeah, we're like soulmates. We never do you want, met. Do you want a kiss? I don't think so. Come on. I, I, I don't think you'll be my first. Come on, come on. That's really weird. I, I don't know if... Does that, does that 
Let's all hands for the rest of the evening. <laughs>